What's up guys, this is Ronnie. Welcome back to our channel Total Technology. Today I'm going to talk about uh, Auto IT. Uh, this is one uh, very popular uh, like package or library for Python. So let me just quickly open this thing by by Auto IT. So you guys can uh, download this thing from uh, this URL uh, and it's very simple. I have already installed this in my system. So I'm not going to do that again. So, but the main thing is that uh, why we need auto it is like guys we have started uh, like a few automation series uh, using python uh, and selenium so let me just uh, give you some sort of example then it will be easier to understand let's for example uh, let's say you want to upload some uh, like image or photograph or by clicking something so whenever you click on something it will redirect you to some sort of like uh, explorer let's say it will open directly kind of this window like well i think i think uh, we can do it something uh i'm thinking how to do it mm, well mm, let me show you something so uh the thing is that uh uh, if you want to handle like uh, windows or uh, like uh, non-browser related automation from your uh, python code and while you are using selenium that time you need some sort of third party uh, apis or library and auto it is very much uh, powerful and it's very helpful you guys can do anything like with, with respect to like uh, uh, like in, uh, windows or gui related uh, stuff so you can uh, interact you can uh, like uh, you can manipulate uh, or you can um, uh, give some sort of command you guys can uh, like write something anything so uh, that's why this is very important so i would like to show you guys something but i'm not sure like uh, how to do that so let me just quickly uh, show you guys something then it will be easier let me just open my gmail well if you well something else open well, if you open gmail okay so after that let's say if you guys uh, like if you want to compose something let's say i'm doing it everything till now i'm doing everything from like browser like selenium now after that if you click here it will redirect to you to in this window right now in this part this is actually out of browser or this is actually like outside of the like control of selenium you cannot access uh, this thing using some sort of selenium control or method so for that you need like uh, some sort of like mechanism or some sort of api or libraries which can help you to do this sort of automation so one of the most popular example is that we did some sort of facebook automation or facebook auto poster yes like last time but now let's say if you want to upload some sort of image uh, on top of uh, like um, uh, like on top of like normal message uh, you want to update it with using some sort of images let's see if you want to go to your wall own wall and you want to upload some sort of image and with respect to some uh, contents or text message so whenever you click on your wall and say hit on the uh, image icon it will automatically redirect you to your windows explorer that time you need auto it and i'm saying auto it no this is not the whole and sole solution which is available within uh, the market no there are multiple other apis or libraries are available but auto it is one of the like uh, very popular and very powerful and uh, it requires less amount of code so that is why you can uh, use this thing and another api or library is called uh, scully that is also very much powerful you guys can do it but i'm planning to upload some more tutorial on scully in coming days but auto it this is going to be end to end thing i'll be explaining you so as I, uh, as I uh, like uh, as I uh, told you like you can use auto it using this thing like this is the command uh, I think yes pip install auto it so you guys uh, means can, like I already installed so for, for me I am not going to do it again and again uh, so but you guys can do it but after then it is going to be simple so what I'll do I will show you guys by uh, one simple uh, program like uh, import auto it now i'll show you guys how to do it so auto it dot run can notepad dot exe so this will actually open notepad if you see it over here see
to my captain. Okay, so many notepads are there. Okay, we should close everyone one by one. Don't say. So if we run this thing again, see, uh, we can open Notepad using this thing. Now, if you want to, like, write something in this Notepad, you can do that as well. Like, let's say, photo it dot control control. I think control send and title control this thing so what I'll do I'll show you like apart from auto IT installation you have to uh, you guys have to download this thing as well like I'll show you like auto IT download it will redirect you to this website and from there you guys can download the software and after that you have to go to your installation directory and from there you have to open this thing auto IT information so now uh, the fun part will start let's say you want to write something in this window so what you have to do you have to take it and you have to drag it over here so it is showing this side see the window name is uh, like untitled notepad and class is notepad okay so what I have to do uh, you have to just write uh, something like uh, mm, this name and it will be blank and here it will be some sort of text lex text let me just check this thing whether this is working or not let me close this thing okay something happened it is throwing some sort of error let me check uh window or control could not be found okay so it is looking for some sort of control but control it's not there okay it's interesting uh, without control uh, just thinking mm. well we can try this thing again like we are going to write okay sorry I missed that the control is edit so I forgot to edit one okay so now so this is very simple Again, something is not working. We'll see. Well, this is strange now. Okay. Okay. I think uh, we need to uh, provide some sort of delay actually. So, win. Thing, win. Activate win. Thing. we need to give some sort of weight actually so just and our title is this and probably we can give some sort of delay let's say I'm going to give four second delay so now let's try this thing again okay yes now it is working see so we need to give the delay the, the thing is that it's working very fast it's uh, executing this command and after that directly it is uh, looking for this window but it is not open that moment or it is not rendered so that is why some problem so now our uh, one part is done now next part is like uh, we would like to close this window okay so it's very simple like auto it dot close uh, I think window close win close and we have to give just okay so let's try this thing three so now you want to save it so we have to click here 
okay so so this is like uh, name is notepad and this one is button actually yes we can do it so this is going to be like uh, auto it dot control underscore click so it is going to be notepad and button one okay so notepad and this is going to be control is going to be button one well let's try this thing now yes now it is opening this dialog now we have to write something here okay so what do you have to do we have to just we have to just come over here and this is going to be like uh, name is save as and uh, control is edit one so we can do the same thing again save as and edit one so we have to give some sort of name so i'm just going to take this thing because we are going to write something okay so this is going to be like save as and this is probably 8 one is fine and i think we'll give one name like let's say ronnie2.txt and i think we have to give some sort of delay as well and this is going to be like save as well it is not typing strange let me check what is happening it is saying window or control not found i'm not sure what is happening i'm not sure what is happening mm. okay King to give like this thing let's try this thing again let me just close this thing we have to give for the active window let's open this okay okay yes it's right writing now okay now you have to click here so what is that let's check this thing okay i think this is save as but this time button one so close 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 I think this will be fine okay so I think this is going to work I think yes I think well so let's check it yes it's saved guys so you guys can see it is actually saved inside my desktop there is a folder called usr and it's saved over here see the timing 612 this is also 612 so it's very simple guys you guys can do whatever you want to do using this auto it thing but this is not the complete tutorial i'm just giving you one sort of like brief uh, or kind of uh, intuition uh, towards auto it you can do n number of things but this is the baseline and if you go through the documentation you will be able to do everything but this is the kind of thing i've just developed it for you but the main or fun part is still there so what i will suggest well guys uh, the uh, the tutorial which we just discussed uh, on auto it that was actually very basic but again this is actually if you if you go through the, the, the tutorial like uh, like thoroughly you will be able to understand that there are multiple things you can do it but that was the, actually the baseline which i uh, just developed one short tutorial for you guys but the main or fun part will start from this tutorial if you go to our channel and search for this one facebook bot so here actually we did the complete thing like um, 
we uh, we uh, will kind of uh, i'm not going to discuss this thing you have you guys have to watch this video it is actually combination of python selenium and auto it together so what we are doing i'm just uh, like uh, quickly um, give you some sort of overview those are actually already watched this video they know it's, he just uploaded the videos like in the morning but i thought of uh, like creating another tutorial on pi like auto it basics with how you can integrate this thing with python and selenium so that is why i just created this tutorial but the main tutorial is here it is kind of end-to-end -end project what we are doing here in this video let me just explain you first we log into the automatically login uh, to your facebook account again we are using selenium and after that it will select one of your predefined like uh, or you can select or you can create some sort of like condition based on that it will select some of your friend and randomly it will send some messages okay and while sending some messages it will automatically pick some sort of local file from your um, uh, machine or from your computer and while selecting those file it is actually going to use the auto it feature which is now just now discussed but again i have created two separate tutorial for auto it we are using some sort of like standalone notepad exe how to close how to show and here we are using how to upload files so when you are dealing with upload files you can do any any n number of tutorials or any n number of projects using this upload tutor upload file uploading uh, like tutorial Tutorial. and when I just uh, when there is a requirement for kind of uh, uh, something open or write something and close or save something you guys can refer to my the short tutorial which I just created for auto IT using some guy we have written something on notepad and after that we just uh, like uh, we, we have just seen like how to save the notepad with like using some given name and all okay so guys this is kind of complete tutorial using python selenium and auto it you can uh, you can rock actually like here you can do any number of automation any types of automation but if, if still if you guys have some sort of like use case or complex scenario please 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 do let me know i'm actually very much uh, excited to like uh, see like what are what are your comments or feedbacks or reviews or if you guys find something like something difficult or a complex scenario just do let me know i'll try to help you and also i'll try to develop those uh, like use cases for our channel as well so that's all guys that's all for today hope i hope you guys enjoyed the video and please watch this series it is actually very much unique and you will not find this tutorial anywhere in the youtube and stack overflow people will talk about auto it you have to integrate auto it but this is something i implemented it and then put it in the form of tutorial so guys hope you guys will uh, like the videos and share to our channel subscribe to our channel whatever possible share our videos and do let us know have some feedback or comment so that's all guys that's all for today hope to see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice week Thank you.